I wish someone told me, I don't have time for leisurely activities without my kids, but I feel like I've surrendered and just incorporated them. Like I bring them to a workout class, put them on a tablet or a coloring book in the corner and Get just your pump on. go to town. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Jack Shepard. Kristen Bell. How are you? I've got a six and eight year old. I have a six and eight year old as well. I think we share the same Girls? Kids. Girls? Yes, both girls. Oh my God. Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I love having daughters. Me too. I advise everyone to have daughters. They're so much better than boys. <laughs> boys are dangerous. And they're <laughs> threatening to everyone's safety. We have little boys over sometimes. And it's a different vibe. Everything has the potential of um, a stick being swung at it, you know? Yeah, everything yeah. becomes Nothing's a weapon. Safe. I wish someone had told me that there would be a lot of talking it out when you have girls. And I do like that, it just takes a lot of brain power. I wish I was prepped a little more for it. I wish someone told me how loud my house would become. Because I guess I thought they're littler people, right? They might be less loud nice. and they're not. The volume is 3x what a normal person should be. And the problem is it's not just volume, it's the consistency of noise. It's like having NPR on all the time. So two stations of NPR on all the time. But if it were all questions, like no answers, no fun story, just all questions. And that it's, that's a lot. When we had kids going on eight and a half years ago, it started. Um, we live in Los Angeles. We have um, a lot of money. We're overpaid. So we had access to every single thing you'd possibly want to give your child. Very premium products. And it yes. occurred to us that that wasn't the case everywhere. And that it, it just seems wrong that anyone would have to choose between their baby and their budget when getting really good premium products. So we created Hello Bello, which started out with diapers and wipes and lotions and potions. When we made uh, our diapers, we made sure that we had sustainably harvested fluff pulp, which try to say that 10 times fast, like a very like appropriate amount of absorption, maybe the best on the market, maybe not, probably the best on the market. <laughs> what I wish someone had told me about diapers is that the, the texture and sensory change when they start eating real food is so extreme. It's just like a light pumpkin pie. Prior to the solid prior foods. Prior to solid foods. And solid foods come in there and it's a whole new ball game. I wish someone told me, if I'm having an issue or a problem, I want to know how everybody solved it. I want to know how you solved it and you solved it and you solved it and you solved it. And then I have the ability and the agency to take all of those answers and decide what's right for me. I, I observe your friendship circle and you guys are like, oh my God, have you tried kale? It's like so healthy. And you're like, oh wow, I, mean, I should try that. You're excited. And it, yeah, and it's, like well, sharing it's, information. Yes, and it keeps you guys healthy and it's lovely and then it filters down to us, thank gosh. But I've never had a friend say like, you gotta try acai berry. It's such a good antioxidant. And then you've been like, thanks man. Oh my God, I'm gonna go right now and get some. I wish someone had let me know that I will never have anything nice again. That would have been a good heads up. If you like that there's no crumbs and toys on your floor, say goodbye to it. Odd surfaces The being quicker sticky. you come yeah. to accept that you're going to live in a pigsty mm -hmm. and that everything will be vaguely broken, the quicker you can accept that, the happier the experience That's is. Because so we fought it for like six months. We did, we were like, we're gonna tidy up and we're not gonna have toys everywhere. Even now, even though like they put their toys away sometimes, they're working on it. It's not worth the stress. You just gotta surrender because if you spend your whole time battling, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose and you're gonna be mentally fatigued. Then your kids see that you're stressed because objects are in different places. Because that's their main game. They move objects. Mm. Any object that can be taken out of its place and put in another location, they are onto it. Yeah. But then you just gotta go, but I'm here to spend time with these little people and enjoy them and love them. The objects will eventually find their way back. In to 18 years, we will have. Their the books will be on the bookshelf, mm -hmm. not made into a weird fort in the living room, yeah. you know?